That was, I knew that was going to be a good game from the get-go. It's just everybody was having fun, man. Um, it's funny because we won. The second I knew that that was our night, that that was our day, is in pregame, they started playing a song. I forget what the song was, but it was like, do, 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 something like that. I don't know, but it was my song. From there, we just wanted to win and win and win because winning means that we stay together. Winning means that we keep playing. So this is my final year working with um, PBA and MCLA. Had a great run. We are now transitioning to Division II NCAA. We're going to join a new conference, um, step up the level of play a little bit, the level of competition, and we're going to see what we can do. A lot, a lot of us on the team knew that we wouldn't be playing together again, whether we're graduating or just couldn't make the commitment to NCAA. This is a lot of seniors last year. Uh, I recently just found out that this is my last year. My eligibility is up after this. And so um, this season was just about us being together, knowing that this was the final ride and that uh, every moment we got to spend with each other was a precious moment. It was a gift. We want to stay together as long as possible. You know, so that means going as far as possible, getting the SCLC tournament, uh, getting to the uh, national tournament, you know, hopefully. We got to lay it all out on the table. We have to produce results because ultimately our goal, because we, we love each other, but we love Suds, man. We want to produce a positive ending result for him. The emotion of this last season was just a flood of mem memories of walking with guys through darkness that they had in their lives. Guys walk with me through incredibly diff difficult times. With him, he's been away from his kids and family from, you know, with PBA Lacrosse for so long uh, that I know he's going to want to spend some more time with them. So it was a Friday night. Uh, my wife were in a car, my wife and I were in the car, traveling down Military Trail to 45th to go to St. Mary's Hospital to visit our son Joshua. And we got a call on the way down to let us know, right around, right around the turn from Military Trail to 45th that our son had passed away. And um, that next day, on Saturday, we had a lacrosse game. I decided that uh, the right thing to do, we both decided that, was not to cancel the game, but to be there with my brothers and, and to go ahead through, go through with the game. And not too long after that, when we had the services, the guys showed up. and uh, greeted me. The love of others holding you up when you can barely stand. And I know I'll see my son again, Joshua. And maybe we'll pick up a couple of cross sticks and have a catch. Looking forward to that day. Um, so a personal goal for this year was was to stop being so fat. Like, came back from Ohio, took a year off, and I gained like 70 pounds. So I wanted to just make it through practices. <laughs> um, it was really hard for me to step away from the game, but I ended up transferring home after that semester, back to Ohio. About um, a month later, my father passed away. January 25th of 2016. 
the one thing I remember from those times that was just so predominant is is how this family, this lacrosse family I'd been with from a thousand miles away just were there for me every step of the way. And that, that means more than I think any of them could ever mean, could ever know. Um, it kept me in the group chat. I even tried to leave the group chat and they added me back in and said, you are not allowed to leave this group chat because you're part of the family. Iron sharpens iron. When one is down, somebody here is to pick the other up. We're all humans, so we're all gonna sharpen human. Like, we're all there to help each other. We're all there to love each other. We're all there to make each other better, you know, to push each other, to be there when we fall, to pick each other up when we fall. We take that seriously, that um, if one of our guys are struggling, then we wanna go and get them. One team, one goal, one family. You know, like, that's what it was. So you just have that extra edge, that extra push, because you know if you make that play, that push a little bit harder, then that just extends the time that you can be with your brothers. We have to lay it all on the line. I mean, there's, we, we fight every day, we fight every game, every practice for survival. Every little thing in the game matters because the more we win, the longer we stay together. It's all about survival. Survive. They wanted to keep their season going, and we we wanted to hold on to that brotherhood. No one wanted to go home. Every second that you're not given 110%, that's gonna matter. And we're gonna see it in the end result. Thing about was those guys that aren't going to be able to play next year. Those guys that aren't going to carry on. Those guys that their career ended as soon as that buzzer went off. I just remember sitting there for so long and just not wanting it to end. It's only fitting that that game was on the same field that my father saw me play on. The last game he saw me play. I went immediately up to some of those guys and was just like, dude, like, I'm sorry that I didn't do better. Or I'm sorry we couldn't put, put it together 
to give us another game, to give us another week of being together. Like, I'm sorry I couldn't do that. You, you kind of felt the sense that we let Suds down. Remember Suds hugging as many people as he could, as fast as he could, just to tell him he loves them and how much it's been an honor to play with them and coach them. And then at the end of the game, they, they announced that Suds is actually the coach of the year. Man, I don't think I've cried so much in my life. But this team was just a special team because it was our last team. Like, this can't be it. Like, it can't end like this. It can't end. Now I was done. There was no more rides. It was finished. And it was great. I was satisfied. I was super satisfied. Then I got the phone call from uh, the selection committee. Based on your record and the committee's decision, uh, certain teams get bids and in certain positions, one through 16, and get to compete in the national championship of California. In our case, we lost. We lost in the second round of our conference tournament. So the national bid was out of the question. Until, I get a text from my coach, might get national tournament bid, dot, dot, dot. I was actually upset. I was like, don't text me with that. How can we get this bid? But we all kind of had this understanding that it was a possibility that we could be resurrected. And they asked Coach Suds, he goes, will your team be prepared? You've done everything we've asked. Would you want the bid? you want to take your team to California? And you would think it would be the worst idea ever. And it is. I was like, uh, no. Yeah, of course, let's go. Let's go. We got the national bid. And we lost. Guys are crying, guys are going crazy. We get redemption, this is it, we lost. To get one more ride, one last ride in California, we relive. That's it, it wasn't over. One last ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get weird, boy! <laughs> And so, uh, what a fitting way to end this crazy, fun, abundantly filled with life journey with my brothers one last time. That was awesome. It was awesome. These strings, which mean so much to so many of the guys. He gets this long string, and we all wrap the string around our wrists once or twice, and you pass it to the next person, and it's all connected. It represents the unity of the brotherhood that no matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter where we end up, that we're there for each other. You appreciate the little things like that that bring up good memories and good times in your life. And after you've done it a couple times, you start getting really creative. So I ah, got mine on my ankle over here. <laughs> and so if you ever look at my wrist and say, hey, where's your wristband? It's an anklet. So now that lacrosse is over, it's on to the next chapter. I'm transitioning into the NCAA program. I'm actually moving. I was coaching at a local high school around here and, um, and the travel team. I'm actually moving away to Orlando um, where I get to be a head coach uh, of a high school up there. Finishing up school here, I got 
about a year left. Um, I'm blessed to be, you know, a returner. I'm coming back for the NCAA. Coaching lacrosse at Jupiter Christian, coaching my sons down there. There's, there's no doubt that uh, this game is again a blessing. Everything that I've learned from this team, all the life lessons, I get to apply in the real world.